Amazon's straight pipe. You know what it is. It's not, there's nothing in here. It's just a, a pipe. So I was getting those codes from the engine. P139 codes. There's actually nothing in here. Alright, another one for you here. So this is a 2007 Honda CRV. This is my daughter's car, it used to be my wife's car. I'm gonna change up the full exhaust. The reason being, because I think this is a California model. People talk about finding if it's a California model, look it up here. That's air conditioning. Look on the radiator and looking on the near the strut. I couldn't find anything. I'm presuming it's a California model because uh, the check engine light still seems to come on. So if there's anything, this video is about change out your full exhaust on a 2007 Honda CRV. So we'll get started. We'll order it. We'll take a look down below. So looking back, muffler is connected here. Right about there. I had to mold it together just because I don't want no leaks. And then coming back, looking back, there'll be the resonator here. And then uh, it'll connect to the catalytic converter here. I had to mold that together too, thinking that you know, give it a good seal. There's bank two, looking to the front. Bank one is right in front of it. There's bank one. So. Bank one, bank two. Bank two is right in the catalytic converter. Uh, the air code P0139 is giving up a circuit slow leak, uh, bank one. So I think the problem is this is not a California compliant catalytic converter. Uh, I am gonna purchase the OEM brand uh, and uh, see if that solves the issue. And I'll change out a new O2 sensor too while I'm at it. So I grabbed two new O2 sensors, new catalytic converter, new header coming down, um, new catalytic converter, new resonator, and all the way back to new muffler. We got a new muffler too. So uh, we'll do it ourselves in our driveway. And we'll do it by using clamps to clamp that part off right there. It comes all over here. It's gonna be a hooker hang, uh, hanger here. So we're gonna clamp that there, and then all the way to the front, there should be two spring loaded bolts up there. Okay, let's stay. Let's order the parts and then we'll put it together. All right, we are on our way. So, the resonator and the muffler, so I ordered that from uh, Walmart. So, I'll flash across the screen again what that looks like. That will be in a couple of weeks, so I'm not in a hurry as far as getting it in faster. So, is that a cheaper price? The resonator was like $108, the muffler was another $100 and some odd dollars, $124 around there. So, I got it from them versus getting it from your local automotive place versus getting it from Amazon. So, I just want to make sure I can get those, but they are available on Amazon if you choose to get that. I just went with the Walmart because I've used Amazon, I use uh, automotive place before, and I wasn't quite satisfied with that. So that's the reason I'm using it for the Walmart one. And they're the, they're the same, they, they sell the same product as Amazon, well, a little cheaper, of course. And then we're gonna head to uh, my local Honda dealership because I'm gonna use OEM uh, bolts. Because what I found that through my research that the bolts that goes on the connectors, those mufflers, uh, they're usually too long so you're not getting a good tight, uh, you can't really tighten them down that much because of that, because they're too long, the one you get from Amazon, so that's the reason we're going to use OEM uh, gaskets and uh, bolts to put it all together, so that's where we're going to head now, we'll take you along for the ride, you know, change of scenery. Uh, if you like these type of videos, you haven't already subscribed to the channel. This channel is about personal finance, cost savings, by doing stuff yourself, or even find ways to help you save money. You have to check out all those videos on buying a new laptop, you know, as a student or as a parent. Or you can save 200 bucks.
bucks on that. Car insurance. All the things, you know, all the things that comes in with uh, personal finance in life. So I think cost saving is a big one. We all want to save some money. So we're going to head over to uh, uh, my Honda dealership. I'll meet you there. All right, so the parts have came in. And you just try to visualize what's, how it's gonna be put together. And I bought this time OEM parts, but the, all this stuff is all aftermarket. It's not the real deal. When you find OEM, it's about $2,000 for this full exhaust. So let's start from the top and work our way back. I'll tell you what I have here. So the one that's on the car right now, is a catalytic converter that's from Amazon for a hundred bucks. Like I said, it still smokes, still stinks, it still goes off all kinds of um, error codes. So I bought this one from Rock Auto. Shout out to Rock Auto. So this is a carb compliant, EPA compliant. So if you don't know, EPA compliant means you know the nitrous and the carbon dioxide gets eliminated at twenty five thousand miles. Comparably to a carb compliant, which is California assembly or uh, exhaust something something. Well, anyway, California grade basically. And there's a couple states that require this kind of exhaust, which is real expensive. This is about 800 bucks from um, Rock Auto. So I got this for 817 with tax shipping, and it comes up to almost 900 dollars. That's why people are stealing these because these are expensive. But anyhow, this is carb, carb compliant and EPA compliant. So I wanted to use OEM uh, hardware. Uh, altogether, hardware was like 300 bucks, all OEM stuff. Rock Auto does send you a gasket donut with a ring for the back here. We'll show that in a minute. For the header, for the uh, manifold. So these are your bolts, so you go with these springs. And the reason there's no nut because when this this screws into the header that's already in the car already, so that's the reason you don't need a nut. You just need a bolt. But here you can take a screenshot of the part numbers. For these here's the the ring that comes with OEM ring, the actual Honda. Take a screenshot of that. Here's the actual springs. These are two springs. So I'll just flip it over so you can see the part number. Part number for that. And then here's the bolts for the springs. Part number for that. And here's the Rock Auto version, which I'm not going to use. Here's the OEM bolts. So these have grooves to keep it in when you turn it in. Um, but obviously this is an aftermarket from Rock Auto, so it's kind of smooth. So what probably going to do is going to grip the side of this and just turn it in with the vice grip from this side and then turn it in this side. And here's the part number for that. Uh, I don't have the part number for the, the nuts because the guy just gave it to me without a package. But this is the bolt for that. Here's the O-ring that goes into here. So you see it uh, kind of step off here. Has a little step off. So that's gonna go sit in there. No need for extra gaskets because uh, this point just seals everything else in. I mean you can argue to put some more like former gasket, high high temperature jazz. You don't need it. Everything's gonna be sealed in there, bolted down nice, nice. Uh, so surprisingly, the thing about Rock Auto's ring, it does not fit over this. If anything, yeah, it doesn't really fit. This is, this goes right over it, really snugly wuggly. So here's a screenshot of that. I, prefer, I would recommend, highly recommend using the OEM Honda version. Before we move on, here's the uh, holes for the O2 sensors. So you don't know, uh, bank one is here. It's right pre catalog converter, bank two. Uh, you know, inter -catalog. These are just little nubbies things that you put on there. Make sure no dirt and dust gets in there, so just take it off, that's all. Yeah, there it is. So there's your O2 sensors, bank one, bank two. The other thing you can tell is uh, bank one will have a shorter wire, and bank two will have a, a longer wire. That'll go right in there. Moving on. So I got this uh, resonator. Um, so Honda has, I guess you call it two mufflers. 
Uh, first muffler here will be the resonator, kind of dampens the sound a little bit. And I got this from, believe it or not, Walmart for 100 bucks, so can't beat it. Shout out to Walmart. And then here again, we're gonna use OEM parts. So OEM parts requires this kind of setup. Uh, the butt goes in with the springs, which is here. And of course, this requires an O-ring, which goes over here, it goes right over there. So the part foot number for this contraption here, this bolt setup is this. Take a screenshot of that. And the bolt, and the nut for this, I, I, can't, I bought two, so I'm just gonna show one package. But this came with this, so two separate packages. Take a screenshot of that. Here's the parts for that. This is the donut. Here's the part number for this one. Take a look at that. And the springs. So these are the two same springs. So take a screenshot of that. And then the muffler, last piece. This also came from Walmart. Um, you know. Supposedly this is a dual lid, blah, blah, blah. I don't know that, what that even means, but the exhaust I have on there is from, I think a local uh, automotive place. It doesn't seem like it's filtering because I still see like smoke coming out of the rear end. So I don't know what that means, but this looks pretty sturdy right there. It's got double layer. The one that's on there right now is not double layered. So maybe this is better. So, so I usually try to lay everything out Make sure everything looks like it's gonna fit. And then we'll go underneath the car. It should be easy. Cause um, the only thing, because I wanted a guy, you've seen my other video, I went to the garage to some guys in uh, Sabeo muffler in, I don't know if I'm saying that right, in Providence, Rhode Island. Hooked me up, they, they connected everything cause I told my daughter drives the car, I don't want nothing leaking. So they welded all these little bits and pieces. but. I'm gonna put it right where it belongs. Originally, there's connectors here, there. So we'll put it back where it belongs. It should be easy. So a couple saws, electric saw, we'll get that off and then we'll put it all back together. As you can see, this has a double layer pipe. This has a single layer. And look at Rock Auto's exhaust. I mean, Calic Converter. This actually has stuff in there, mesh and all that good stuff. Compared to Amazon's straight pipe. You know what it is, it's not, there's nothing in here. Just a, a pipe. So I was getting those codes from the engine. P139 codes. There's actually nothing in here. Great. All right. Lesson learned. 100 bucks. 800 bucks. Big difference. What are your tools you're going to need? Flashlight, pry bar, impact with a um, 15 millimeter impact there. Gloves, flathead, utility knife, ratchet, you're going to need. This tool, this is from Amazon. I'm not familiar with Amazon. It's a hanger remover. Here's a 7 8 uh, O2 sensor remover. This is actually a tool, quote unquote, tool for O2 sensor, but it really is a 7 8 um, socket with an open end so you can get the wires around it. But the open ends wrench works just fine. A separating saw or jigsaw, I mean, saws off. And just because I have to cut mine off. So you need a couple of sockets here. Your ratchet, three set ratchet. You need a 14 millimeter, you need a 15 millimeter, you need a 12 millimeter short, and a 12 millimeter long. So those are two you need to do, get this job done. All right, let's get started. All right, we put the car up. I took up both tires because you want access to the, to the mufflers. So I got that on um, the jack with jack stands for safety and another piece of wood with a cinder block just for safety. Same here. And a scissor jack. And I got a tire to make sure it does fall. And a jack stand. So safety first folks. Make sure you're doing this at home. Try to save some money but also save your life at the same time. So 
once you have the car up, you remove most tires. You can see the O2 sensor plug-in is right here. Again, um, just remember which wire goes to which, but like I said before, the short wire usually is the bank one. You can see there, that is bank one. Right there. Bank two is right below it, which is right where the cut convert is, right there, that's bank two. So we're just gonna unplug it, take out the O2 sensor with an opening wrench, a 7 8. That would do just fine. I know there's fancy um, sockets I showed you earlier. So they try to oversell you an O2 O2 sensor removal tool, really, all you need is the open wind wrench and you use this fine. It'll just come right out. It's, it should be under snug, it should be too tight. All right, so, so we'll take the O2 sensor off and then the other thing you can see is, I mean, there's two options. You can go to underneath the car, use the extension with a ratchet to get to your, looks like on this one is a 15 millimeter um, header bolt. See there, I'm gonna zoom in right there. That's the, the spring with the bolt. Uh, that one must be because I ordered this from Amazon, it must be an aftermarket bolt. So it's 15 millimeter. Typically, it should be a 12 millimeter um, coming from the factory, um, and it's a 12 millimeter, an OEM um, bolt that we have to gonna, that's gonna go in there. So here's what it is. So we'll put the 15 on there, get that out. I'm gonna try it to do it from this angle, right where the tie well is. I'll just reach my hand in there, you can see. I'm able to see that one. And the last one's in the back, right there. That one right there. So just uh, two bolts holding it into the header or the exhaust. That's the exhaust up there. That's the um, catalytic converter going down. All right, I'm gonna try to film as much as I can. I can't promise you much because there's little tight quarters and you're probably going to see the back of my head. That's about it. Not a cool feature, but that's the idea. So there it is. So squeeze and pull. Here's the tabs. Squeeze these tabs and then this will open up. Right there. Same thing here. Squeeze and pull. The good thing is color coded up there. So green goes to green, blue goes to black. So BB, I'll talk about that way. Let's go down below and let's take care of this uh, O2 sensor down there. Let's just take the wire off the clips, pull it out. Nothing Lucy. There we go. Yeah, it just should be snug, folks. See, you don't need no special tool. Tools are for bulls. Here we go. Oh, pretty dang dirty. I don't think it's doing its job. There's bank one. Same idea. Got my trusty 70th wrench. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, we talk about personal finance and cost saving. We're doing this ourselves. It's a big cost saver. So pre calic converter looks pretty good. I got to say, it's pretty dang good. So you got the Persuader, aka Impact Wrench. So the real be from uh, Home Depot. I got a 15 millimeter um, impact socket with extension. And I was able to get the first one out way up there. Let's see if I can sort of show you. I can show you, but I can tell you. So that one is out right there. So right there, that one's out. Good impact wrench. So pro tip for the second one, there is a hole. Honda's been smart enough to give you a little hole to stick your socket into. To reach the second head about which is right about here right here so you have to stick the socket into there all the way up 
to your bolt right on top of one. See it? So from there, all the way up. So that's a little pro tip for sticking on so long. So if you don't know, there's a little hole there that Honda has built specifically so you can get to that bolt up there. So I can't film again. Only got two hands, man. All right, let's get this done. Because I welded mine, I'm gonna cut right here. Let's take saw and I should be able to drop and get that out of there. And then the rest should be able to slide out. I'll cut it right about here. Same thing here. I'll cut it somewhere around along here. Gotta get the muffler and the resonator out. I gotta film that part because it'll be noisy as heck. All right, here we go. My head. Right about here. We should stay there, buddy. Damn. We done, homie. One more thing before we put it all back together. You have to get rid of the old O ring that's there. See it? That's the old O ring for the header. So just peel that off. That's the old one. All right. So be warned do not buy Amazon exhausts anymore. This is the Rock, Rock Auto, Auto, Rock Auto's version. If you look through. Amazon's exhaust catalytic converter, quote unquote catalytic converter. Yeah, it's a straight pipe. Compared to Rock Auto's catalytic converter, there's actually stuff in there. All right, we have it all lined up. So that is going to connect there. You can see the old one, the muffler, resonator. And be all put back together. We'll take the hangers off of those. So pro tip, put the hangers on first before I put underneath the car. It's an easy way to put things back. Hangers. And I don't recommend putting lube on there because the idea is to have some kind of friction that way the exhaust is able to wiggle back and forth. I mean, the exhaust hanger stays and this moves, see? That's the whole idea. This part should not move, this part can move. So as you can see, there's a little hole there. That's quite pliable. All right, let's put it all back together. All right, all done. Do, uh... That's the new catalytic converter. Just gonna reattach the uh, O2 sensor. New resonator. There's the bolts for that. Touch to that. Burn spanking new, nice and shiny. Coming up and over. This means it connects from the resonator to the muffler. That's the only um, uh, clamps. Goes to the muffler. Comes out. Bam. All right, that's it. I'll put it all back together. I don't need to show you that part. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I'd like to see content where I talk about personal finance, cost savings. This is a big cost saver, folks. Full exhaust. Um, cost me a little over 4000 That's a full exhaust. I don't know how much uh, the dealership would, would charge you. you know, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'll see you next video.